Speaking of tight end, we have Zach Kuntz. He is uh, joining us. Uh, Old Dominion tight end. We're talking tight ends and draft fits. Listen, we are 15 days away from the NFL draft. Look at this, six, seven. Our next guest, one of the most athletic tight ends in this year's NFL draft. He's coming off a record-setting performance at the NFL Combine. The pride of Camp Hill, Pennsylvania from Old Dominion, Zach Kuntz. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? I'm good. Zach, where are you right now? I'm in Norfolk, Virginia right now, uh, back at Old Dominion, just doing uh, some uh, football training leading up to the draft. Talk, talk to me about what, that, what goes into that. You're one of the, the most athletic guys in this draft. It's true. You're, I mean, you're literally as tall as the ceiling fan behind you in Virginia, <laughs> and you're about to pop on the scene in the NFL. What goes into these days of training and getting yourself ready mentally, physically, with the draft starting 15 days from now? Yeah, I mean, just, you know, just staying focused on the task at hand. Uh, I can't really look too far ahead. Um, kind of everything that we've kind of done is already done with now. So it's really just, you know, focusing on my training now, put myself in the best position come, you know, rookie minicamp. Uh, now, in researching you a little bit, Zach, we want to get some background as a team. And you refer to yourself as a dog dad, which is great. And we love it. Your dog <laughs> has an Instagram account. Is Nala mm. around? How is Nala doing? <laughs> she's good i saw her first time i saw her for a little while uh during our uh, local pro day here um but you know she's been staying with my brother back in pennsylvania he's been taking good care of her but uh yeah she's doing well <laughs> we have some pictures now you she has she has her own instagram but the captions we, we were literally crying can you read this to me <laughs> Oh, uh, my daddy and I I'll love Taco Tuesday. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> At the retreat, here's Nick displaying his scrumptious tacos, too, but I think that I am most scrumptious. Then you have another one. So I went to the salon. It did not go well. Swipe to see my reaction. This is Nala. I don't know who's writing this for you, but this we were cracking up. And then we have the last one, laying in bed. I miss my I miss my daddy so much. <laughs> he said that we will reunite soon. And then you wrote, mm. I miss you too, Nala. Zach, what is going on here? <laughs> no, you know, Nala's got a mind of her own, so no, she she handles her own social. So um, you know, I kinda let oh, okay. her do what she do what she does. <laughs> Great. I have a great agent. So if I, you need someone to just like get her into a commercial or do something like get, get into a special event, if, she, if Nala needs yeah. Coachella tickets this weekend, you come talk to Aunt Kay and I can figure it out. Uh, <laughs> we just wanted to have a little fun with you there. You, you stand at six foot seven, right? You growing up, you played football. Were there any other sports that you considered? Lots of tight ends like the hoops. Mm hmm. No, yeah, I definitely uh, kind of considered uh, basketball. There was kind of a, a time in high school, or going to high school, really, there was two spots that I kind of ended up going, or could have ended up going. And I think if I went a different route, maybe probably would have pursued basketball a little bit more. Uh, but, you know, I always played football, basketball, ran track, and uh, I always kind of stayed well-rounded. It was something, you know, I really liked to do. So, um, yeah, I... I uh, just tried to stay all around, you know, and I didn't want to be too one dimensional too, too early. I think it helped me a lot kind of being well-rounded and kind of having that through high school, helping me obviously with football and uh, college and so on. I love that. And then you started your college career at Penn state. You were there for three years before making the switch to old dominion. Explain to NFL mm -hmm. fans why you decided to make that move. And maybe what did you learn about yourself having to transition to a new program? Yeah, uh, you know, I was, I was fortunate to earn my degree from Penn State. You know, it's something that I, uh, you know, I set my mind to. You know, I was going to, you know, complete that. And then, um, you know, I learned a lot. I, I was with, you know, a lot of great teammates, you know, off, both in my room offensively, you know, and on the other side of the ball. You know, iron sharpens, sharpens iron with that. I uh, had some great yeah. coaches, great role models that, um, you know, helped me learn a, a whole lot. And then, uh, you know, making my transition to Old Dominion. I uh, had, had great relationships with people there. Uh, explained, you know, the opportunity for me there and, uh, you know, panned out well. Now, during your time at Penn State, where you started your career, you were teammates with Pat Fryermuth, who's now a Steeler tight end, mm -hmm. does his thing for Pittsburgh, and he's a star. 
What did you learn from him when you're talking about iron sharpening iron, spending time with him even just on the field? Yeah, I mean, just, you know, just... <laughs> just by... Uh, <laughs> oh, man. <that's... laughs> we got you, buddy. Uh, Coons, we yeah, got you figured out. <laughs> That's a lot there. Um, but no, yeah, we obviously, you know, we had a great relationship there. Um, yeah. Just just going through, you know, workouts, training, you know, constantly pushing each other and, you know, learning ways that he prepares that works for him, uh, the, the different ways that he finds success. And, you know, with him and, you know, other teammates as well, each of us kind of have a different process of uh, what it is, you know, from Sunday uh, up until Friday leading up to the Saturday game. So, you know, kind of finding different, you know, pieces that work for you and then implementing that to your process. What do you ask him? Do you ask him, like, if I were you, I'd say, how different is the NFL? Or, like, what's your best pointer you can give me on the draft process? Like, what's the question that you've asked him? Yeah, I, I would say, um, you know, obviously there's a big difference, you know, between college and, and professional. And then I, I, I kind of relate it to similarly, like, you go from the high school jump to college, you know, there's obviously – a difference in the pace of game and like different ways that you do those things. So, you know, there's been little pieces here and there, uh, you know, some things, you know, whether it be how you go about practice or like go about workouts or like doing extra meetings, things like that. Uh, so kind of, kind of a logistics thing, uh, if you will, of, of kind of just the process of how things work. Um, obviously an NFL season is a whole lot longer. So there's, you know, taking care of your body, doing treatment, things like that. So, you know, all those things are kind of important. Listen here, kiddo, whatever you're doing, whatever fryer moves help, whatever you're, you know, hanging out in Virginia, keeping your body right, it's working. Because this mm -hmm. scouting combine, we got to get into it. You ran a 4.55 that was the fastest 40 by a player, six foot seven or taller since 2003. I don't even know if you were born in 2003. You became, my friend, the tallest player in combine history with a 40 inch vertical. We're seeing your 40 here. What went so well this day? Yeah, I know. I, I felt really well. Uh, you know, I was training at the Exodus facility, and, uh, you know, they do a great job there with their athletes. You know, they have, and, you know, you see it in their track record of, you know, all the people they've kind of had come through there. Uh, so, you know, it's a matter of, you know, tapping into that potential of, of what you're able to do. And, uh, you know, a lot of, you know, hard training, you know, long days leading up to that point. And then, you know, that week of the combine, really getting your body primed and feeling ready. We call it, you know, a taper, uh, taper off kind of what you've been doing so that, you know, when you go out there, you know, you're running your best times, you're, you're jumping higher than you ever did, you know, during training. Uh, so, you know, the taper worked well for me, you know, I trusted the process and, you know, it uh, ended up going well. I, you know, I can't imagine I've covered, you know, this league for a long time, uh, that that didn't increase traffic, that that didn't increase the tension that you were getting mm -hmm. from NFL teams since then. What has that been like? Yeah, I know it def definitely was an uptick, you know, after the combine, uh, just getting a chance to, you know, talk to, a, you know, a bunch of different teams, a bunch of different position coaches, um, like tight ends coaches from, from multiple different teams. Uh, so, you know, that's been a great process, obviously, uh, being able to communicate with them and, you know, learn different ways that they kind of go about coaching, kind of getting a feel for them as a coach, you know, and as an organization and things that, you know, they kind of do. So, you know, when this time comes after the uh, after the draft, you know, whoever I, uh, you know, end up getting drafted by, um, we can kind of hit the ground running and, uh, you know, get going. What's your draft plan? Where are you going to be? That I'll be back home. Okay. Yeah, I'll be back home in Camp Hill, uh, spending spending it with the family. Got a, you know, a bunch of siblings, some nieces and nephews. Everybody, obviously, the dogs. So, uh, you now they're all back up there. Say. So I'll, I'll have, yeah, I'll have back up there here a little bit, and then, uh, you know, be spend some time with the family. Nala will be the star of the show. I'm sure. I'm surprised no NFL team brought up Nala to you in any of your interviews. <laughs> no, nah, believe it or not, no, nah, they. <laughs> They ask you if you have a dog or something, and, you know, I'd mention it, but, nah, nothing more than that. No, they didn't try to get you to read the captions like I did. That's why these NFL teams need me. <laughs> I do the real research in this one. Uh, you're a very tall, tall tight end. You're going to be one of the tallest players in the NFL. Is there a, a guy that you like that you model your game after or just a favorite guy that's played the position on the highest level? 
Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, guys like uh, – you got a guy like Mike Kosicki or Darren Waller that are, you know, obviously, you know, big athletic guys that are able to, you know, go up there and, you know, make those plays, the 50-50 balls. And, you know, I'm very familiar with Mike's game from watching him at Penn State and then, you know, there on after. Uh, so, you know, definitely elements of their game that, you know, I kind of see and obviously try to, uh, you know, emulate into mine. Um but, you know, you see the kind of the transformation of the tight end position as it's kind of been as of late. And, uh, you know, I think it's an ex- extremely exciting time to be a tight end. You know, obviously we have, you know, we have a great tight end class. You know, I've got to meet a lot of those guys out of the combine. You know, all great guys. And, you know, I'm excited to see, you know, obviously myself. But, you know, kind of what, uh, you know, we all kind of do and change the landscape, you know, in the next couple of years. It's so true, and I got to tell you, it's one of my favorite position groups. It might be my favorite position group in the NFL because the tight ends are so, pun intended, they're tight. Like, they have their tight end camps. They all talk to each other. Kittle gets them all together. Mm -hmm. And it really is a bunch of guys who are so for each other, even though they want to beat each other on the field. It's it's a a very cool sort of group. Uh, party to be invited to and you'll be invited there on the biggest stage in the NFL we're so excited to see you I'd love for you to tell people out there that maybe didn't get to watch you at Penn State or Old Dominion like what's your super strength like if I had a superpower it would be finding the pets of draft prospects and embarrassing them what is your superpower (laughs) out there if I could choose a superpower I would definitely control time I think that would be the coolest you know, ability to be able to do that, be able to manipulate time, go back in time or, you know, yeah. go in the future. I, I think that'd probably be, uh, probably be the one I choose. Where would you go? That's a good question. I mean, honestly, I don't know. I'd probably go, <laughs> no, go ahead in time, find out who's yeah. going to win, you know, who's going to win games and, you know, win the lottery or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Something simple. That's amazing. I was going to say, I was going to say, yeah, yeah, don't go back to the past because, like, there wasn't, yeah, nothing that great happened. You're living in a great time. And right now, the present (laughs) is the best thing for you, my friend. We're excited Mm -hmm. about that. We want to play a little game with you. There's a show on HBO. It's called The Last of You that's really popular. So, we're going to ask you some rapid fire questions. We're going to put 60 seconds on the clock. And I'm going to ask you the last time you did stuff. When is the last time you dunked a basketball? Ooh, dunked a basketball uh, three days ago. Really? When's the, when's the first time you dunked a basketball? Uh, in a game, seventh grade. Seventh grade, you were dunking? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, mm-hmm. that's insane. Uh, when is the, what is the last video game you played? Uh, Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Okay, when did you do that? Mm-hmm. This morning already? <laughs> uh, no, that's it. I was just playing yesterday when I was back in the house. When did, when's the last time you had a haircut? Let me see that hair. No, yeah, this it's getting too long, honestly. I, it was kind of uh, stubborn on me when I uh, came down to Old Dominion. I went and got a haircut, and it was like 50 bucks. And I was like, I'm, I'm not doing that again. So <laughs> just yeah, from there no. on it. I didn't get a haircut. And yeah. I got a trim when I went back home. Uh, by a family friend and then um, no I haven't haven't done anything since then <laughs> Zach are you going to be the kind of guy that even when you make money in the NFL you're not going to want to pay for a $50 haircut no I think I will I'll definitely trim it up for my mom's <laughs> sake uh, clean it up a little bit but you know it's all the same underneath the helmet having the, having the flow kind of hanging out that was yeah. the goal so uh, yeah <laughs> You're you're a college kid. You get hungry. When is the last time you cooked a meal? Oh, I I, I cook fairly often. You know, in, in my house, uh, no, I cook breakfast every single morning. Uh, lunch is kind of the same deal. Sometimes I'll eat out for lunch if I'm in between workouts, things like that. But no, I love going to the store and getting what, a nice rib eye or T-bone thing? steak. That I cooked. Wow. Yeah. 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 The T-bone steak. And I went and got some Kraft mac and cheese, a little veggies on the side, kind of, <laughs> kind of all around, you know, mixing it in there. So, like a like a true college kid, always with the mac and cheese. Yeah. That's all I ate for yeah. four years. Um, last, uh, let's see. I don't know what I want to ask you. I want to ask you the last time you cried while watching a movie. I might even have to say Goodwill Hunting. Oh, such a good one. No, yeah, I like that movie. An oldie, but a goodie. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, mm -hmm. It's yeah. well done. I'll, I'm going to do a little trivia for the last one. The last time you scored a touchdown, the last team you scored a touchdown against was who? Arkansas State. Arkansas State, back in September mm -hmm. 24th. And he's coming to an NFL team near you. We appreciate you, Zach Koontz. Thank you for making time for us, letting NFL fans get to know you as we uh, cheer you on. Have fun and tell Nala we say hi. <laughs> I got you. Will do. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate you. Good luck at the draft. Enjoy. We got a 6-7 tight end from Old Dominion ready to wreck shop in the NFL. And he dunked when he was in seventh grade. What is that?